Identification of a Bravet Lattice A crystal has a basis of one atom per lattice point and a set of primitive vectors in angstroms. A1 vector is 3i hat, a2 vector is 3j hat, a3 vector is 3 over 2, i hat plus j hat plus k hat where i hat, j hat, and k hat are the unit vectors in x, y, and z directions of the Cartesian coordinate system, respectively. What is the underlying Bravais lattice of this crystal? Find the volume of the conventional unit cell, find the volume of the primitive unit cell, and draw a primitive unit cell for this lattice. Now, uh, first thing, I want to uh, identify this Bravais lattice. So. Uh, I look at these basis vectors. A1 vector is uh, 3i hat. A2 vector is 3j hat. So these are pointing along x and y directions. And then I have A3 vector. The third basis vector is 3 over 2 i hat plus j hat plus k hat so this is pointing along the body diagonal so this is pointing along body diagonal so if i were to draw these uh, three vectors basically i would see that um, these are pointing uh, in the, uh, in the direction of lattice points of a uh, body centered cubic lattice. You can see that A1 and A2 atoms, uh, A1 and A2 basis vectors are pointing uh, in the uh, from uh, one atom at a corner to another atom at, a, at another corner, and A3 vector is pointing from a corner atom to the body center. So uh, I, I, I identify this uh, lattice as body centered cubic lattice. And uh, from my drawing, you can see that the uh, lattice constant A here should be the magnitude of A1 or A2 vectors. So the lattice constant must be 3. It's the magnitude and it was given in angstrom. So it is 3 angstroms. So, I was able to identify the underlying Bravais lattice. Now I need to find the volume of the uh, conventional unit cell. That will be very easy to do after identifying uh, the lattice. So in part B, um, so with these Basis vectors, A1 vector is lattice constant A i hat, A2 vector is lattice constant A j hat, and A3 vector is lattice constant over 2 i hat plus j hat plus k hat. The volume of the conventional unit cell would be equal to A1 dot a2 cross a3 or a2 dot a1 cross a3 or a3 dot a1 cross a2 uh, so you can see here that a1 cross a2 would be i hat cross with j hat that is k hat using the right hand rule uh, so that would be a square k hat uh, and if I take the dot product a3 with a2 cross a3 this would be a over 2 uh, i hat plus j hat plus k hat dot product with a square k hat that would give me uh, a cube over 2. Now, the conventional, but it's asking me the conventional uh, unit cell. So I realized that I have used these uh, basis vectors, which are primitive vectors. So these are primitive vectors. 
and therefore I see that what I have found is the volume of the primitive unit cell which is part C so okay I have done part C first um, this is the volume of the primitive unit cell uh, so let's call this V primitive this will be a cube over 2 and what is a cube over 2 it is uh, 3 angstroms 3 cube 10 to minus 30 meter cube divided by 2 which is 1.35 10 to minus 29 meter cube so this is the volume of the primitive unit cell so if I look at the conventional unit cell uh, on the other hand uh, I would see that the volume is basically given by uh, volume conventional is given by a cube that's the lattice constant cube uh, so that will be equal to um, 3 10 to minus 10 uh, cube which is uh, 2.7 10 to minus 29 meter cube on the other hand I noticed the relationship between the primitive cell and the conventional unit cell uh, so if I look at the number of atoms uh, per cell here I have one eight of the eight atoms at the corners and uh, I also have one atom at the body center so the total number of atoms per conventional unit cell is uh, two so I notice that V primitive is V conventional divided by two so this basically checks now part D I draw a primitive unit cell for this uh, lattice so what I know about primitive unit cells is that a primitive uh, unit cell contains only one lattice point so a primitive unit cell contains uh, only one lattice point so if I were to draw a cube with edge length that is the volume of the primitive uh, unit cell uh, to the power one third this would be a primitive unit cell so basically uh, looking at my conventional unit cell here I draw a primitive unit cell which uh, for example it contains the atom at the body center and this primitive unit cell if it's a, a cube as I have drawn here will have a lattice constant a primitive lattice constant a cube over 2 to the power 1 third which will be the lattice constant a to the power divided by 2 to the power one third so this will have a lattice constant a 2 to the power one third so that's one choice of a primitive unit cell another way to uh, draw a primitive unit cell would be basically to uh, follow these uh, vectors um, because these are already primitive uh, vectors uh, I could uh, basically draw uh, these uh, like that and complete uh, this into a parallel pipe uh, so that I would have a primitive unit cell uh, that is uh, defined by these primitive lattice translation vectors a1 a2 and a3 so here I have uh, let me make this a, lot, a little bit more clear a parallel piped uh, that is defined by these um, 
primitive lattice translation vectors or primitive basis vectors. Uh, so that's another choice for the primitive unit cell. As you know, the choice of the uh, primitive basis vectors, the choice of the primitive unit cell is not unique. We have several options. So here I have shown you an alternative uh, primitive unit cell. Um, so we, we, I have thought about a primitive unit cell in the shape of a cube. Uh, then it has to have a lattice constant a to the power two, uh, a divided by two to the power one third, and it should contain one lattice point. So I have drawn a cube uh, um, which centers the uh, the center body center atom uh, in the middle, and I also. Uh, thought about uh, forming a parallel pipe using these uh, primitive lattice translation vectors, uh, vectors alternatively. Okay, so we looked at the identification of a Bravais lattice. We are given a set of primitive vectors in angstroms. The first thing I noticed that these two vectors uh, are pointing uh, in along x and y, and the third vector is pointing along the body diagonal, and this lattice will contain uh, it has a basis of one atom per lattice point. Therefore, uh, drawing these vectors, I noticed that this seems to be a body-centered cubic lattice. And uh, I found the volume of the conventional unit cell. Well, a the magnitude of the vector a1 or a2, the lattice constant, cube should give me the volume of the conventional unit cell. And a cube divided by the number of atoms uh, in the unit cell, conventional unit cell, which is 2, or the number of lattice points per unit, a conventional unit cell, which is 2, it will give me a conventional unit cell divided by 2. Alternatively, I can do a1 dot a2 cross a3, or a2 dot a1 cross a3, or a3 dot a1 cross a2, etc. So this will give me the volume of the primitive uh, unit cell. And uh, finally, I was asked to draw a primitive unit cell for this lattice. Uh, so the conventional lattice is body-centered cubic. The primitive unit cell will contain only one lattice point. So I thought, since I know the volume of the primitive cell, I can draw a cube around the uh, body-centered atom. Uh, with edge length a divided by 2 to the power 1 third, so that it will have the volume of the primitive cell and will uh, satisfy the condition that it contains only one lattice point. So that's one choice. Or uh, because I'm already given a set of primitive lattice translation vectors, I can form a parallel pipe out of these vectors, and that will give me an alternative solution.